www.singlecall.indy.com Music Reviews Okay, so today we're going to be looking at this thing called the controller rack. Now, anything that you can use the controller rack for, you can also use this thing, the automation track. But instead of drawing like you do here, we are going to control the functions by using this an LFO controller. Yeah, so we just clicked add. Now we have this thing, the LFO controller, controller one. We're going to click on controls, and here we're going to have it displayed. Now. It's best if I show you by doing, so let's open up an instrument, let's play some notes, randomly, and let's click, right click on one of the functions, for example this function, the pitch, you can select any function you want, and we're going to click, we're going to click connect to controller, we're going to click controller 1, and we're going to click OK. If there were more controllers, we could have uh, chose them from here. So, we're going to click OK. And we can already see that the pitch is being controlled by this LFO controller. Now, why is that? Well, that's because you can see the knob moving back and forth from all the way to the maximum and to the minimum. So, if we're going to play this, it's going to sound like this. Yeah, so you can hear the pitch going up and down. If we're gonna add another LFO controller, and we're gonna click on controls, this is basically the same thing. Let's connect the volume to this other one. We're gonna connect it, switch it into control number two, pressing that key, uh, and pressing OK. For now, they're going the same way, the exact same time, but if we switch this to the controller two, let's switch it to another function. Now, these things, the functions can be very easily used to control the way that knob is rotating. So, if we have a sine wave, it moves continuously. But if we add a square wave, you can see it going all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, and so on and so forth. If we have noise, for example, it just goes wild. And you can double click on this um, question mark to select anything that you may want as a flag from a flag file. For example, let's click this sign saw. And you can see that it's um, kind of like the sign, but it goes only to only it doesn't go down and it goes much slower. But you can change that by changing the speed. As you can see over here, it goes faster now. We're gonna turn the speed down, and we can see that this thing already goes far faster than the pitch goes. If we multiply it by 100, you can see that already that thing is out of control. We can also divide it, but that's very slow. You can barely see that. Let's turn the speed up even more. Maybe you're gonna see it a little bit. Yeah, it grows a little bit. Yeah, so that's basically it for the LMMS controller rack. If you want to download the theme that I am using, you can go check out the description for that. Also, you will find there links to the videos showing you how to make a theme or how to install such a theme. Thanks for watching and see you another time.